Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Michael Mail with Entrepreneur Freedom, where I show you great ideas and great tools to grow your online business or to even start one. So in today's video, we're gonna build another automation using Boostspace. This automation is gonna allow you to automate your comments. So if someone left a comment on one of your Facebook posts, you're going to be able to automatically reply back without even actually logging into your Facebook business page or page. So this will make it a lot easier, especially if you're really, really busy like me and I don't have time to comment. So this automation will do it for me. This will only work on your page that you are administrator of, okay? Second, this will only work on one blog, sorry, post at a time. So it would only monitor one. If you need multiple ones, then you will have to build this out a few times. Again, it only works on one and only checks on one, okay? So what you're gonna need to build this out, you're gonna need a Facebook page, not a personal page. Second, you're gonna need your API ChatGPT to log into and connect this to your automation, okay? So, let's get started, let's build this out. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first module, which is our Facebook page module. And here you wanna look for watch comments, okay? It's usually at the bottom, so right there, okay? And then what you're gonna do, if you already connected your Facebook page, if you haven't, it's very simple. You hit add, it's going to allow you to connect it just like if you did chat GPT. Simple and easy as that, okay? So you're basically gonna choose your page that you're gonna, that your poster are on, okay? And then it's gonna do, <clears throat> excuse me, we're gonna do a drop down menu and you're gonna choose what post that you wanna monitor. We're gonna use this one. And this right here is basically how many posts I'm sorry, how many comments you get and that's how many comments it's gonna reply back up to. Now, you know, normally people don't get a lot of comments, but sometimes they do. So, but we're gonna leave it for two for now, okay? We're gonna hit okay. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use from here, uh, from now on here, you're gonna hit okay on that one, okay? Then you're gonna hit save. Now what you need to do is go to the post that you chose in here and go onto your Facebook account and find that. And then what we're gonna to do to test it, we're gonna put a comment in. So we're gonna use this one. Okay, we're gonna just type this in, and simple as that. Okay, we're gonna hit that. Okay, we're gonna go back to the build, and then we're gonna go back in here, and we're gonna do right click, and then we're going to choose, choose where to start from, and we're gonna do choose manually. Now, what this is looking for is looking for that comment I just put in the, on, the, on Facebook. You see that right there? Okay, you're gonna grab that, you're gonna hit okay, then you're gonna run it. It turned green like we always wanted to do, and you're gonna look through here, and you're gonna see that the message said message, and it's gonna show that that comment that I just made on my Facebook. So okay, you're gonna hit okay. Next module you're gonna need is your ChatGPT. You're gonna need to create a new completion. Okay, again, if you've done this before, you should automatically be hooked up to your ChatGPT, and simple as that. Okay, now we're gonna choose a model, choose whatever you want. Again, I like four, uh, four old mini systems. I think it writes really well. I'm gonna use 5,000 tokens, I'm sorry, 500 tokens, okay? And then now what I'm gonna do is go to my first message. My first message, the role is going to be systems. And then right here is where we're gonna put a short, simple little prompt, okay? If you need any of these prompts, please comment at the bottom of the video and I'll be gladly to share them. Okay, so just paste that in there, and there you go. And this one's simple. You just basically say, it's a mon you know, it's a modern your, um, basically your Facebook page. You're gonna put that in there, and you can put your, your um, Facebook page um, right here, in between here and then put Facebook. It's a very simple thing. Okay, that one's done. So we're gonna add another message, which would be message number two, and we're gonna add role as user. And then right here is where we're gonna put a, a prompt, okay? We're gonna paste that in here. Okay, so we're gonna separate these here, real quick here. I've already typed up these prompts and I'm just pasting them to make it easy. Now, I'm gonna show you something. We're gonna take this out so you know what you could do. Okay, we're gonna close that out and we're gonna go back into it. Now, to get that, you're gonna go over here and get meshes from up here, okay? You wanna make sure that is right here. Comment dot dot message. You wanna make sure you put that in there. And because that's basically coming from 
the Facebook module, okay? Just FYI, okay? So after, after you clean it up, separate it, you're going to hit OK. What you're going to do is you're going to save and you're going to run it again. So do the manual run again, like we always do. We love our runs to test it because you got to make sure it's working because you don't make sure it's broken. Here's the comment. You're going to hit OK and then you're going to run it. Now, if everything's correct, they should both turn green. It did. Okay, you're going to hit that and you're going to see the test and you want to just make sure that everything's okay. Okay, all right. The next module you're going to need, and which is another Facebook, and you're looking for create a comment. All right, let's go down here and find it. Here it is right here. Okay, and then once you could cross, you connected already, it should automatically bring it up. So you're going to connect it to your page. Okay, give it a second. All right. This is going to be a very short, simple, easy video. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to actually connect it to our Facebook page. So what we're going to do is go in here and we're going to, sorry, we're going to go hit map and we're going to go in here and we're looking for content ID. Okay, so you see that blinking on the side, we want to make sure you got the right one. Okay, then in the message, we're going to put um, another like slight information here. And again, I'll have these. Uh, if you want them, just basically comment and I'll be glad to share it. So we're going to put this in here and we're going to paste it. Now, when you paste it, it may not be connected. This may not be connected. You might have to run it again or not. But if, it, if, it's, if it's black, that means it's not connected. So what you could do is, is basically go in between here and here, right? And then go up to here and then you go down to cho uh, choices. You go down to meshes and you hit um, content. Click that and it's going to put that in between there. Okay. And then you can just basically go back here, make sure that's this blinking there, backspace, backspace to delete the black ones. Simple, easy as that. Not very difficult. Okay. Hit OK. Okay. Don't forget to hit save. Okay. And then what you're going to do is again, you're going to, let me move this over here. You're going to run it again to test it. To where you're going to start from, of course, the manual one. As you again, if you've seen some quite a few of my videos, you know that this is how you do it. You're going to choose that com, uh, comment, hit OK, and you're going to hit run. Now, if everything is smooth and easy, all three of these should turn green. Okay, it did. What you're going to do is you're going to go here to your Facebook page where you're testing, you're going to refresh it. And then you're going to go down to where it is and you're going to see that there's the, here's the first comment and then there's the second one it wrote and it automatically reply and it's real it's like a real person you know i've tested it where i've asked it are you ai and it said no you know i'm not an ai i'm a real person so again this will reply with the, if you write put the right prompt in, it will reply really nice and smooth to make it easy like like you're actually replying back so simple and easy as that Okay, so this again, this is a, this is a very short video. I'm not trying to make this long. Um, but if you want to put in certain messages in here, you can do that. You can delete this and you can actually choose your own message. So if you have, if you're selling a product and you, and people ask you what the price is, you can put that in there. If a person's like, what services you offer, you can put that in, you can actually put that in there. You can actually add more and put a, um, a router in here and add more to basically break everything down to what you want to respond back to, especially if you're doing services. So if you're offering services on your Facebook page and you basically put a post about your services and people want to know about it, then you, I would do is build out multiple, put a router and build out multiple. If you want to see a video on how to do that, comment. The more comments I get, I will do the video on it, okay? So this is basically a simple, easy, easy, easy build. You can do this like in five minutes, especially, you know, five minutes for a person who's to do it, maybe 10, 15 for a person who's just starting out. So this is a very simple build. This is how you build out, you automate your comments on your Facebook blog, sorry, your Facebook post. Okay, simple and easy as that. So if you like this video and you want to see more, please subscribe to the channel. To then, I will see you in the next video and you have a great day. This is Michael Mayer with Entrepreneur Freedom. Thank you.